This problem asks us to find the depth at which the crustal root sinks into the mantle at isostatic equilibrium. So let's come back over here to our continent. We're going to model our continent as a cylinder. Uh, the continent is made out of crustal rocks um, with density rho c. Uh, it is sinking into the underlying mantle, which has a density of rho m. Uh, because we're in uh, isostatic equilibrium, um, some amount of continent is, uh, has, has submerged into the mantle. Uh, that depth of submergence, uh, which is what we're trying to find, h, uh, is described as big H here. And little h describes uh, the height of the continent above the surface or above the mantle. And we're calling that little h. Uh, but we are interested in finding h here. So the easiest way to do that is through a pressure balance. Now, let's, let's uh, look here at uh, two pressures, P1 and P2. Um, so P1 uh, is just at the uh, base of the crustal root here, and P2 is the adjacent point in the mantle. So uh, in isostatic equilibrium, we're interested in the hydrostatic pressure which is just the pressure due to the weight uh, of the overlying material at the point of interest. So we know that pressure is force divided by area. So the pressure induced by the weight of overlying material is described as rho gh, or the density times the gravitational acceleration times uh, the depth uh, under the material uh, and that goes all the way up to the surface. So let's look at P1 here. All of the material above P1 is uh, crustal rock. And the height of that crustal rock is the sum of big H, the material underneath the surface, and little h, the material above the surface. So let's write P1 here with our hydrostatic pressure formula. P1 equals, well, the density that we have to worry about is just rho c, because all of the overlying material is crustal rock. So rho c times g, our gravitational acceleration. Here on Earth, that's about 9.8 meters per second squared. And h, well, the, the, the height of all of the overlying material, again, is just the sum of big H and little h. So this is just h plus h. And uh, let's not confuse this little h with this little h here. Um, this is just a generic, uh, a generic depth. Great. So let's go ahead and describe P2 now using hydrostatic equilibrium. So P2 equals, well, all of the overlying material is mantle rock. And this is just air up here. There's no mountain on top. Uh, the mountain is on top of our point uh, P1, but we're adjacent here. Uh, so there's, you know, we've moved off the mountain and uh, there's no uh, mountain above us. So all of the material is just uh, mantle rock. So we can write rho m again times g. And all of this mantle rock is just described uh, in terms of big H. Again, there's no material at height little h above point P2. So it's just big H here. All right. Now, P1 and P2 have to be equal in isostatic equilibrium. Otherwise, we would induce flow. And we're in isostatic equilibrium, so things are not flowing. So generally, P1 equals P2. Or using these equations, rho c, g, h plus h equals rho m g h. All right, now let's distribute here. So rho c g big h plus rho c g little h equals rho m g h. So I'm going to bring this over here, this over here, and then I'm going to uh, isolate big H on this side of the equation. So just some uh, arithmetic here. Let's see H 
uh, rho c g minus rho m g. And actually, the g's all cancel here, right? They're here in all the terms. We can go ahead and just drop them entirely. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of this g, this g, this g. Again, we're just canceling them because it's a term that's uh, in, all of our, uh, in all of our terms here. Uh, so we can just go ahead and divide by g and get rid of them. All right, so rho c minus rho m. Again, I've just brought this over here. Equals minus uh, rho c h. Again, I've brought this over here to the side of the equal sign. All right, so let's just finish up this equation. h equals minus rho c little h over rho c minus rho m. So this is the equation that describes the depth under the surface at which the crustal root exists. So, you know, a typical rho c, um, something like 2700 uh, kilograms per meter cube, um, a typical rho m, uh, you know, 3300 uh, kilograms per meter cube, something like that. Uh, and let's say, you know, the height of the Himalayas, um, maybe six kilometers. So if you were to plug in these known values into this formula, you would get something like, um, you know, 27 kilometers in depth, uh, which is approximately the depth of the uh, crustal root of the Himalayas. Uh, so this simplified pressure balance allows us to peer down into the sur uh, subsurface of the Earth uh, and to know things about its structure. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.